this video, I'm going to show you how to use Illicit's notebooks to get to a topic for your research project. We'll start off broad and then we'll narrow down. Open in front of me is the, my Illicit account. I am a Illicit Plus user, which just means I have a number of extra features that the regular users don't have, but you can also have the use the regular version as you'll also have access to notebooks. So let's start off with adding a notebook title. We'll call it our topic idea. Let's say you are interested in football injuries. Now, as you may know, when you start exploring a topic, you first start by reading broadly, and then as time goes on, you're going to narrow things down a little bit more. Now we've been provided with a summary of the top eight papers, and if you are using a, having a regular account, you'll have four papers here, which is also good. And we have been provided with a number of studies. At the moment, they are provided by most relevant, but you can change this to most recent or any of these others. You can also filter it to say that you want the most recent research and even the summary updates. Seeing that your aim is to first get to know the research area, I would suggest that you go through these titles and see if there are any that are not relevant. If they are not relevant, you can just discard the paper. You can also click load more, which means that more papers will be added to this table. Then your next step will be to add columns. Now there are many, many different columns to add. Maybe you want to learn about the methodology, you can add that column. There we go. You can even add additional columns, maybe a summary of the discussion, a summary of the introduction, the research questions, theoretical frameworks that have been used. But you can also create your own column. So let's say you are very interested in the definition of injury that has been used in these papers. Look at this lovely spelling of mine. Let's go. And let's create a column. In this way, you can create multiple columns and you can extract specific information from these papers that Ellison has found. Once you've familiarized yourself with the research in the field, you read these summaries and these different columns of the different studies, Create a column for future research and see what these studies recommended future studies should be on. And that is where you're going to get a lot of ideas for new research to be done. Once you have familiarized yourself with this future research column and you have a better idea of what you'd like to zoom into, you can ask a follow-up question or add a, extract different concepts. And let's say you were interested in the mechanism of injury because you found that that is something that many of the papers suggested and you were looking at the mechanism of injury of, let's say, ACL, uh, ligament injuries. Then we'll ask a following up question. Um, it won't extract information from these specific papers, but you'll include it in your notebook and we'll say, what are the mechanisms of ACL injury in football players. This is an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Here we have the results of our question around the mechanism of a knee ligament injury in football players. How does it happen? And here it summarizes exactly how it happens, the different mechanisms. And here you can click on the paper and you can even open this paper and get more information. Let's go back and see what else it produced. So you can now work through these different mechanisms because now you've zoomed in from football injuries in general to the mechanism and again when you are ready, you can ask a follow-up question again. Um, again, extract a list of concepts or 
ask and find new papers. And now that you know that you are more interested in the mechanism of injury, your question can be much more specific. And you can reiterate this process and repeat it over and over again until you get to that very one specific research question of yours. Try it out, play around, start broadly, narrow it down and see how illicit notebooks can help you get to a specific crystal clear topic for your research project. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.